Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to operate lights from a radio controller. Well guys, before we get too much further, I just wanted to say thank you very much for stopping in and taking a look at another one of my videos. And I really hope that this benefits you in some way. If it does, please consider giving me a thumbs up and a subscription. That would really help me out. Well, with that out of the way, what you see in front of you is a transmitter and receiver setup with a light kit. Now, this video suggestion comes to you from a subscriber who is asking me about why doesn't the light kit function when I plug it into the auxiliary switch of my receiver. Now, after some lengthy back and forth with him, I decided it'd probably just be best to do a video and explain this uh, and how this is supposed to function. Now you'll notice from here, this light kit is already powered up, but when we use the function in the radio, it doesn't change anything. Now this is because a traditional electronic component, such as a speed controller, has three cables. You have a white, a red, and a black, and a servo will function in exactly the same way. Now your receiver is sending a pulse width modulation signal through this white wire. That's telling the onboard computer to do something. So in the case of a speed controller, it would be go forward, go backward, and a servo would be go left or go right. Now in a traditional light kit, you only have two cables. So you don't have that third cable to receive that pulse width signal. That's where you need an electronic switch such as this one. Now this one has those three cables that I mentioned, and it has the, the power cables for your light kit. So the onboard computer in here will interpret the pulse width as function, either on or off. Now if we unplug our light kit from our receiver and plug in this electronic switch instead, so we'll plug this switch into channel number three, your auxiliary one is how Spectrum sets them up. So we'll plug it in like so, and we'll plug our power cable into the, sorry, I had the wrong cable there. Plug our power cable into our light kit. Now you'll notice that the light does not just come on at this point in time. Once we give this radio function, now our light kit is operating. Now this is one thing I didn't realize about the SLT3 transmitter until I was prepping for this video, is, is that this switch that's on the SLT is a momentary switch and it's not adjustable. So this light will only function while you're holding this button. The moment we let go, the light will turn off. So this radio wouldn't be necessarily the best radio to use for very obvious reasons. Now other transmitters offer adjustability for their third channel switch, and those would work much, much better. Well guys, that's it for setting up a functional light kit. Well guys, as we wrap up this video, I hope you can see how easy it is to operate lights from a radio control unit. And if you benefited from this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up, a subscription, and don't forget to hit that bell. I do mention this in all of my videos. If you're not hitting that bell, you're not getting notified when the new content goes up. So make sure you go back and do that for all of your subscriptions. Well, that'll wrap it up for today, and I hope to see you in the next one.